Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy. Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. All right. Good morning, Morgan Wood. Good morning. Do we have to? We oh have to. We have to. <laughs> yes, girl. Good morning. Happy Friday, y'all. So uh, this will be a great way to kick off the weekend. Let's just go ahead and get this over with. The first presidential debate is in the books, and it was certainly not like anything we've seen depo- seen before on the debate stage. See how I'm stumbling over my words? Yes. Anyway, uh, the Democrats and Republicans for once would probably agree that this was not it. Now, President Biden stumbled over his words, and it's sparking concern among Democrats over his age and his ability to take on former President Donald Trump in the November election. Let's hear a few clips from last night's debate of Biden tripping over his words, Biden stumbling. The, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. I, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Yeah, so that was just not a good look for the president. Damn, yeah. if the commencement speeches was better than, how your commencement speech at the colleges better than your debate. Just at that point right there, was that was when my daughter was like, is he going to turn his brain on? At that point right there, and I'm sitting there like, Jesus Christ. Now, I must admit or uh, report that, you know, or it is reported that Biden had a cold. And to your point, he actually did, uh, uh, had a lot more energy at his post-rally after the fact. You know what I mean? He had a lot. So there's that. And meanwhile, back to the debate, former President Trump, he deflected his actions during the attack on the U.S. Capitol and ignored a lot of questions. Biden said uh, Trump encouraged the crowd to go to Capitol Hill and did nothing for hours during the riot. He added that Trump wants to commute sentences of those convicted in the attack. Trump pushed back, arguing he told his supporters to protest peacefully and patriotically. Let's hear more of that audio from the debate about January 6th. He sat there for three hours, three hours watching, begging, being begged by his vice president and a number of his colleagues on the Republican side as well to do something, to call for a stop, to end it. Well, I didn't say that to anybody. I said peacefully and patriotically. I recall stand back and stand by or something like that, Mm -hmm. you know. Um, Trump also dismissed accusations that he had an affair with porn star Stormy Daniels, although that was already proven in court. Let's hear more from Biden and um, or more from Biden on Trump's conviction. Think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties for for molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant? Now, um, look, I want to be like, how much more time we got, y'all? Mm. It was, <laughs> I knew it was over before it began, but yeah. I knew it was really over when they started talking about golf. Did y'all hear that? Mm. They wanted to talk about their golf mm. game while us, the American people, are mm. sitting here trying to figure out what is going on with our country. Um, so let's hear more of that audio about their golf game. I just won two club championships, not even senior, two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart. And you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? What? What is going on? <laughs> what? What? This is this is is, is it's, it's highly embarrassing to have our leaders of, of America, right? The free country talking about, mm-hmm. hey, I can golf. That's how you know I'm in shape. Hey, I, I can golf. My handicap is better. I bet you can't carry your own bags. Like, what are we talking about? What are we I discussing? Like and I'm very slaps. and I'm very upset with the Democrats. And I'll tell you why. Yeah. If you knew that he wasn't prepared, that his voice wasn't right. That how this would look for for him and and other Democrats out there. Sometimes you just gotta say, nah, we're not gonna do it, and it wouldn't yeah. make him look weak. Cause all he had to do is say, look, no, we're not gonna debate somebody who's a liar. We're not gonna debate somebody that's just gonna not not talk about facts, but just talk about fiction. So because mm. of that, we're gonna pull by, uh, we're gonna pull Biden out. I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have had a problem with that. Now some people would have been like, yeah, he's scared, but 
I would rather that than what I seen last night. Yeah, because now this confirms, you know, you know what we thought or what a lot of people thought is actually was actually confirmed last night. Now, it is being talked about that there is a possibility. I don't know. I'm not sure how, you know, accurate or how. But there is a possibility that or at least the discussion is that, you know, they, the Democratic Party should reconsider the ticket. I mean, there's still time. Too late now. It is it's way too late. They, they, there's nobody that they can get up there that, that can actually run and win in, in what less than four or five months i don't think that that that's a, a solution but uh, i mean I, I really don't know what happens now because if there is another debate there has to be they have to show that maybe he'd had a cold maybe he had a sore throat maybe mm-hmm. he's better than that but what mm-hmm. i seen last night was was from both of them were horrible yeah well, you want to talk more about it next hour or absolutely switch gears okay yeah. all right thank you morgan well we'll see you in a little bit Everybody right. else, get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. Uh, let us know how your day was yesterday, what's on your, what's on your mind, what your thoughts are. And we're going to open up the phone lines in a little bit, too, if you've seen the debate and you want to have some discussion. Let's discuss. All right, it's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Let's get back in some front page news. <clears throat> hey, Morgan. Hey, hey, yeah, you sound a little... I was, was going to say, both, both of y'all, y'all sound, sound distressed. distressed. <laughs> yes. You got to turn your audio off your your, your um computer, Jess. Got you. Y'all hear me? There we go. Perfect. Per- yeah, I'm glad that the weekend is here because I don't know what that was last night. So more on the first presidential debate. Both candidates, Trump and Biden, hurled personal insults at one another and accused each other of being the worst president in U.S. history. President Biden called Donald Trump a sucker and a loser during the debate. Uh, during the debate, yes, B- Biden referenced remarks Trump allegedly made about dead American soldiers. He was referring to Trump's former White House chief of staff, John Kelly, who says Trump called dead military members suckers back in 2018, which Trump denies. Let's hear more of that audio from the debate. He was standing with his four star general and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, he was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. If everything he does is a lie, it's misinformation and disinformation. Listen, don't talk about Bo, okay? Because that's when Trump, that's when Biden gets real hype. That's what now I Trump, thought they were going to fight last night when he said, my son is not a sucker. I said, oh, they're about to fight. I said, they're about to fight. You he see that? He got it, yes. And then he, went, so, but, then he went right back to sleep. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go, moving on. Donald Trump is going after President Biden on immigration policies. He says his border policy is resulting in American deaths. <clears throat> he accused Biden of opening up the border and allowing dangerous people in the country. Let's hear more from the debate on immigration. We had the safest border in the history of our country. The border, All he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. He decided to open up our border, open up our country to people that are from prisons. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages, making sure they were, and the families were separated. That's not the right way to go. Yeah, so they were talking and also related that to the opioid crisis, or uh, Trump said that his immigration policies would have stopped the flow, and he mentioned special dogs that his uh, border agents used to detect drugs. Now, Biden said he could have had a better chance of fighting the drug flow if the bipartisan immigration bill had passed. Now, moving on, the two candidates were clashing over abortion, which is a huge issue. Uh, Trump took credit for the Supreme Court's decision to strike down Roe v. Wade, arguing the issue should be left up to the states. But he also added that he believes in exceptions for abortion, uh, for cases of rape and incest. Let's hear more Mm. on the candidates on the topic of abortion. I believe in the exceptions for rape, incest and the life of the mother. I think it's very important. Some people don't. Follow your heart. I put three great Supreme Court justices on the court, and they happened to vote in favor of killing Roe v. Wade and moving it back to the states. This is something that everybody wanted. The idea that states are able to do this is a little like saying we're going to turn civil rights back to the states. Let each state have a different rule. There's a lot of young women to be raped by their, by their in-laws, by their, by, by their spouses, brothers and sisters, by... Oh, it's just it's, it's just ridiculous, and they can do nothing about it. I mean, you could you yes. could hear in his voice how much he was struggling. What he was saying was absolutely right, but he, yeah. the, trying to get his point across was was very difficult for him last night. And and like I said earlier, I feel like uh, his team uh, let him down. And when I say his team let him down, is you know you put Joe Biden on in front of millions last night, and you knew he had this debate. 
and you knew that uh, whether he was prepared or not, he sounded like he was prepared, but he wasn't going to be able to get his point across the right way and how America would look at him, how the world <laughs> would look at him. And sometimes you just have to say, you know what, we're not doing this debate. And I yeah. wouldn't have took it wrong. I, if, if they would have said, look, we're not doing it. We don't want to debate with a liar. How could you possibly debate with somebody that does not have the facts or just makes things up? I would have respected that more because what I seen last night, uh, I seen somebody that just did not look right. It looks like my 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 TV was lagging at times last night. Uh, it looked like uh, I thought at one time he was going to pass out up there. Uh, mm. It just didn't look right. It, it looked highly embarrassing. So, yeah, his uh, vice president, Vice President Kamala Harris, she's defending President Biden's debate performance. Um, speaking with MSNBC following the event, Harris said she felt like Biden had a slow start, but a strong finish. Let's hear more from the VP. What we had in Joe Biden is someone who wanted to have a debate based on facts, based on truth. And in Donald Trump, we had what we have come to expect, which is someone who is going to push lies and distract from the reality of the damage he has created and continues to create in our country. Let's not forget, when he was president of the United States, he said that if a national abortion ban was sent to his desk, he would sign it. He said that. As Maya Angelou told us a long time ago, when people tell you who they are, take them at their word. Believe them. Now, the VP sounds warm and cuddly. She sounds like yeah. she's assertive. She sounds like she knows what he's talking about. But last night, that debate was a lack of substance. Uh, they didn't discuss many policy issues at all. I mean, the, the, the constant interruptions, the, the personal attacks. I mean, Trump called Biden not smart and the puppet of the radical left. Biden told Trump that he was a, a clown. I guess he got that from you, Jess. And yeah. they also told him to shut up. It was just yeah. highly embarrassing last night to watch that. Yeah, just to wrap this whole thing up, the fact that they were, you know, the one question that really stuck out to me is basically, what have you done for black people, black Americans, um, that the moderators ask both candidates. Mm -hmm. So Biden touted gains in lower health care costs for black Americans. He also appointed to $50 billion he designated for historically black colleges and universities. Trump said black people are being hurt most by high inflation and that he claims Biden ignited that inflation. He added that Biden's immigration policies have amounted to the loss of jobs in black communities, which he equated to black jobs. And uh, Trump also said that Biden has also lost black voters that he has gained in this election cycle. Let's hear more from the candidates about the black jobs. There's more to be done, considerably more to be done. But we've done a great deal so far, and I'm not letting up and they know it. The fact of the matter is there's more small black businesses that have been started than any time in history. Number two, the wages of black, the black unemployment is the lowest level it's been in a long, long time. He caused the inflation, and it's killing black families and Hispanic families and just about everybody. It's killing people. They can't buy groceries anymore. They can't. You look at the cost of food where it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled. They can't live. The fact is that his big kill on the black people is the millions of people that he's allowed to come in through the border. They're taking black jobs now, and it could be 18, it could be 19, and even 20 million people. They're taking black jobs, and they're taking Hispanic jobs. What's a black job? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me, because I was, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna hold you. I was with him with the inflation. Mm -hmm. I was with him with. Until he said they're taking black jobs. I don't know what a black job is, Trump. <laughs> you want to know. Um, the NAACP wants to know. DNC chairman Jamie Harrison wants to know. The Black Pack political group wants to know. Just we all out here trying to figure it out, too. So, yeah, it's a thing. So um, <laughs> the second presidential debate. Yes. Can you believe they're going to do another one? Oh, gosh. Wow. Um, it's scheduled for Tuesday, September 10th on ABC. So we will see, but right now, yeah, I'm just like, oh no. But, but, Listen, I just report the news. I don't make it, y'all. I'm th sorry. Thank you so much, Morgan. You thank have a good you. weekend. Thank you. You too. Uh, <sighs> be sure to follow me at Morgan Media, and be sure you're following the Black Information Network at Black Information Network, and check us out at binnews.com. Y'all have a great weekend. You thank too. You, now let's open up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. Did you watch the debate last night? What were your thoughts? Did you watch it as a family, as a community? I watched it with my kids last night. I had my 11-year-old, my 10, and my 7-year-old in the bed, me and my wife. And we watched it. And just to, to see their reaction because they, you know, they don't know, you know much about but what they hear, right?
So mm-hmm. the first thing my son was like, all right, Donald Trump versus Sleepy Joe. And I'm like, Sleepy Joe? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like where do you get Sleepy Joe? He's like, Dad, that's what everybody calls him, Sleepy Joe. And I'm sitting there like, this is embarrassing. Yeah, and kids don't have no filter. None. They're going to point out what they see. None. My seven-year-old was like, Dad, when is he going to turn his brain on? I'm like, this is, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> But let's discuss. What were your thoughts last night? 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.